Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. This is 24 projects that are going to be coming out two a week right through to December. And if you saw my project on Wednesday this week where I made a washi holder box and I promised you that I was going to make something very different but from the same structure, this is it. It's a hanging gift box. And that's how it would hang on your tree like that. But you can still open it without trashing the box because you simply open it like that and open it up and your goodies and gifts and treats go in there and it's awesome and I love it and I love a happy accident which is exactly what this was but I'm going to show you how to make it it has different dimensions to it but the same technique to build as the washi box so I'm going to show you how to make this exact one and this was made with the uh, Season of Cheer DSP going around it and I'm going to make a different version Night of Navy going on there with the beautiful snowflakes that are so cute this one is Mossy Meadow because I'm going to use the Home for Christmas paper. And this measures 10 by 6 inches, which is 25 by 15 centimetres, so a little bit different to the washi box. And you score it at the 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 inch mark, which in centimetres is 2 and a half, 7 and a half, 12 and a half, 17 and a half, and 22 and a half centimetres. Turn it round and score it at two and four inches, which is five and ten centimetres. Okay, move the scoring tool out of the way. So come along and fold and burnish all the score lines. And we are going to make this in exactly the same way as before, but obviously a different closure. And I like to bend pieces of paper, that's that's what I do. I, I bend and fold and manipulate and see what I can do. And that's how I came up with this that looks so different to the washi box. But we're going to cut it in exactly the same way. So we're going to work with the outer corners. These are the little rectangles. In case you didn't see Wednesday's video. You cut straight down, notch in and hack a bit off like that and then just cut straight up all of the rest or well, semi straight that was not straight at all and then into a rectangle again so notch and chop and then turn it round and repeat exactly the same I can try and do these ones a bit straighter Okay, so it's all going to fold round and it's it will fold round like this and then it's going to close up like that. So the, the design series paper is actually going to go on these four outer parts. So it's easier to put it on before you start sticking and closing and what have you. So basically turn your box over and it's these four centre squares and the DSP pattern as I said, is the home for Christmas. It's this lovely, pretty one. And it, they measure one and three quarters by one and three quarter inches, which is four and a half by four and a half centimetres. And you need four of them. So I'm just going to put some snail on the back. And obviously you choose patterns, colours, and all of that that's going to match your decor or if you're gifting it, if you happen to know the recipient's decor. There's. I just fancy doing something different, going with this sort of slightly retro feel. So that's the DSP on, and now just to put the adhesive on. And it's the four, sorry, the two in each outer corner. Is where you put in your adhesive. Okay, so we start with the smallest one under first, and then that one under the one next to it. Same again over here. And all the way. 
way round. There we go. So, exactly the same as before. Be brave with your long scissors. And we're going to cut, let me tip it to the light, from this part here to there, all the way round. So this one is a little bit deeper, not quite as wide as the previous box. It's the washi tape box. You can see that it's roughly the same, but it's not the exactly it's not exactly the same dimensions. It's now going to fold up and be that shape. And this was the shape that I put all over Facebook and everybody went, oh look, isn't that cute? Um, but obviously I need to close it and I need to close it with a, a hole in it. So what I've got is I've got my one eighth of an inch handheld punch and I'm just gonna go punch a hole in there and on the other side. I'm trying to get it as central as possible. Okay, and this time I have got my gold sequin ribbon. Now, when you buy this, you get two packs. So you get a pack, uh, you get a reel of gold, and then you get a reel of the white, which is this one I've used here. The reason I've chosen it is because it's slightly gritty. It actually stops the box sliding open. So if you had a smoother ribbon, it would slide open and it wouldn't stay shut. But this, the the, the gritty part of it, is stopping it doing that. So there is a deep rooted reason. Always a deep rooted reason. Okay, oops, just throw stuff around. way to close it so that you can open and close it and still have it hanging on the tree as you can see it's just holding itself closed um, tie a single knot down low and then tie a knot up at the other end so I've got a knot down here and this is I want to tie a knot up at this end be fair with this grip stuff uh, this this nice grippy glittery ribbon you probably don't have to do the knot down at the bottom but I'm kind of a believer in dissuading people from sneaking a peek and I think that knot at the bottom would put people off they think oh if I peek inside that I might wreck it so that is how you keep it closed, but you can still hang it on the tree. Now a few decorations. I used the beautiful snowflake embellishments on that, but they were a little bit silvery for here. So I've got the, they're called metal rimmed, um, metal rimmed pearls, my brain has gone. So, and they've got sticky on the back. And you just peel off the tape or the, the sort of protective layer and just pop them on. Oh, and throw them about. Oh, let's have a smaller one. Let's have a little scattering. We'll have varying sizes, shall we? Why not? Oh, they're very sweet. How many did you get? You get 24 in a pack. And these are in the main catalogue, not the, um, they're not in the winter one. And I love them. I think they're really rather elegant. If I could get hold of them. There we go. Job done. How cute is that? It's lovely, isn't it? And you can see it full of, I would say this is one that you would put a gift in and you would gift it to somebody. So maybe a piece of jewellery, who knows? Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying Poodle's Advent Countdown this year. I've had a lot of fun. Anyway, I shall speak to you very soon. Bye.